This is a short video tutorial on how to edit a training session. On the left hand side of the home dashboard page, select a training that appears as new. Select edit training in order to edit the session's drills. PlayerMaker auto detects the start and end time of the training session. It is recommended to double check this before continuing to view the data. This can be done by clicking the training time icon. Here, you can drag the start and end time, pressing Confirm and Continue once done. Next, fill out the training tag. This can be match day minus one, for example. Select the plus symbol to add a training phase. A new phase line will appear. You now have two ways to fill out the start and end time of each trill. One is, Manually add them by clicking into the box and typing the times in. Or, on the speed graph, click the start time of the drill, followed by the drill end time to populate drill duration. Select the phase type, physical or drill, followed by the appropriate phase topic. Repeat the same exact process to add more drills. Note, all players are automatically selected as participating within the drill for unopposed passing, unopposed and opposed phase types. To deselect players from the drill, click their icon. To reselect the players, click their icon again. Then select Done. Add the drill name in the Tag option. Then press Enter to save the tag. The tag will then turn purple. Note, physical drills can be named using the drop-down from the Phase Topic list. Repeat the same exact process to add more drills. You are now presented with four options. Unopposed Passing. This can be a passing drill. Unopposed. An example of this would be ball mastery where each player has a ball and only touches per player is calculated for the technical data. Opposed lineup. This can be a small sided game or even an 11 v 11 internal game. And opposed. This can be a rondo or a possession game where players change teams frequently. Repeat the same exact process to add more drills. Then proceed to fill out the field dimensions. This is optional. After, press lineup when finished. Note. When selecting opposed lineups, you will need to complete the lineups by selecting the relevant players for the corresponding teams A or B. A neutral can be added if there is one or more players that play for whichever team is in possession of the ball. When you are finished completing the lineups, press Done at the top right of the page. Then press the Save button on the bottom right of the training edits. Now, you can find your edited training sessions on the left of the dashboard page. Click on your edited session to check out the data. Now, you know how to edit a training session on the dashboard.